my leash. And I'm going to recognize what are the key words like, as a part of my strategy. Then, then what are we going to say? I have to make sure that my website has, if your website just says, email me, that's good. Yes? Yeah. But if it has those other tabs, it's just better, because back on that page, that's what the consumers are looking for. Is everybody with me on this? All right, so we got niche keywords website, then you've got basically control your brand name, which is your name and or your niche. Either one is fine. Okay, question in the back. How do you control your, uh, your name is in a common name like Dave Brown? Okay, so very good, but okay, um, I'm in Beverly Hills, California, what's this? Beautiful, stunning, like Mrs. Robinson kind of gal walks up and says to me, Mr. Ferry, can I speak to you privately? I'm like, why yes, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Hot shot gal, right? Takes me to her office and we sit, we sit and chat and she says, I've been in business for 25 years. I've been very dominant. My production is beginning to slip. I know I've got to get online. I'm going to review all this stuff. Thank you for the recommendations. I want to do all that stuff. But my name is, and when she said it, I went, that's a pretty common name. She says, oh, no, it's worse. She said, an adult entertainment star shares my name. So when people Google her, <laughs> But they, guess what they get? They're like, we want to list our house, but damn, that looks good. <laughs> so, so the answer is, the answer is twofold. You might have to go Dave Brown one, or you might have to go the Dave Brown, Coach Tom Ferry. Does that make sense? You know, Dave Brown one. A lot of you might have three hundred million people on Facebook. Hey, listen, the Google profile. There can be a million Dave Browns, so they can put Dave Brown in Ontario and the Hana Hana, right? Does that make sense? But you want to control your name as closely as possible as you can, and understand guys look up here. If you don't do it now, it'll be gone on Tuesday. That's reality. I mean, it's just, because now, remember when people were registering domain names and then selling you domain names, right? We're already seeing that with Twitter accounts. A guy tried to sell me my name, Tom Ferry, until I pinged him and said, dude, we should talk. Google me, Google Gary Vaynerchuk, and Google Jim Marsh, my social media partner. The guy Googles all three of us. I pinged him on the phone and we need to talk. I said, do you see those three names? We can show about 1.5 million people that we can communicate with on Twitter. If you don't give me my name back, we are going to make you our social media rampage for the next six months. Because you're a dick. <laughs> nice. He was just very much like me to email that to you. Because he knew we were going to talk about him in a, a non-nice way about why you shouldn't take everybody else's names. But people are doing that. So you've got to get your name controlled and ideally get your niche controlled. Does that make sense? So back on the slide. Ready? Okay. Let's talk very quickly before we get into content. You've got your niche, you've got your keywords, you've got your website, you've got your name controlled. You've got to build your database. Now, your database in this case, my friends, is on Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr as an example. We'll take just those three. Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter. 